Giving a grand test is 50% job done. The rest 50% is analysis of the paper. If you are giving a grand test for two long hours, make it a point to at least analyze for one hour. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder. Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Pratyush Jain, INISS DM Neonatology Rank 16, NEET SS DM Pediatrics Rank 68. In the past few days, I've received a lot of queries from fellow SS aspirants. They would be asking, Pratyush, I'm not able to improve my grand test scores. What should I do? Some would ask, Sir, we are worried that the grand test scores are at a particular level and they are not increasing. What should we do? So here, I come up with a very short video where I would be discussing five tips and tricks to improve your grand test scores and thus your ultimate performance. So here we begin. Number one and foremost important is attempt. You need to attempt grand tests at regular intervals. No matter whatever your current preparation level is, attempting grand tests is very crucial. Why? See, sitting at a particular place for three hours, concentrating on the question paper will acclimatize your mind and body and thus it will prepare you for the final frontier. Also, when you are attempting grand tests, you would get to know what portions are your weak points, what portions are your strength and thus it will help you in further preparation as well. So please attempt grand tests. This will also let you know where you are standing in the current competition race, which is very important. Number two is analysis. Giving a grand test is 50% job done. The rest 50% is analysis of the paper. If you are giving a grand test for two long hours, make it a point to at least analyze for one hour. The question arises, how to analyze? After you give a test, write on a piece of paper, total number of questions attempted, number of positives, number of negatives, number of questions left unanswered, and total number of intelligent guesses. See, as you give tests more frequently, you would get to know that the power of intelligent guessing is improving. And thus, in your final exam, you would be able to eliminate options easily. This will give a substantial boost of at least four to five questions to your final score and thus give you a very good rank. Also, when you're giving tests, please make a point to check on the number of negatives. By each test, the number of negatives must substantially reduce. And this will give you a very good boost in your final ranks. Number three is time management. NEET SS 2021 was a very lengthy paper and many of the aspirants couldn't finish off the paper in the stipulated time because of the lengthy clinical questions. When you are giving a grand test, you have to formulate a strategy to solve the paper. One strategy is you start from question number one, go till question number last without skipping any question in between. The second strategy, which I personally followed in my grand test was, I used to finish off the easy questions in the first go and leave the difficult questions for the next cycle. I followed this strategy in each grand test and thus in my final exam, I got sufficient time to even revise my answers. And this helped me in managing my time. Also, when you are giving a grand test, you would see that by each grand test, the time required to solve a particular test is going to reduce substantially if you have a habit of giving tests regularly. And thus, in your final paper, you would have an upper hand over other SS aspirants. Number four is solve many questions to improve your scores. What I've seen is students read theory most of the time and don't solve any questions, which is very detrimental. The idea is, Whenever you complete theory of a particular chapter, please make it a point to solve the relevant questions from a guidebook or the prep ladder Q bank. The idea is you need to get acclimatized to the question pattern. No matter whatever the question pattern is in your final exam, if you're solving questions, the scores are definitely going to improve. Also, there are a lot of repetitions, whether it be your mocks or your final exams. There would be repeat questions in bulk. And if you're solving questions, these repeat questions would never get wrong and thus this will give you an edge over the other SS aspirants. Number five and very important is SWOT that is strength, weakness, opportunities and threats. After completion of a particular test, you would get to know what portions are your strength, what portion is your weakness and where do you need to work upon more religiously. It will give you a final rank and also it would give you a subspecialty rank. So it will let you know where do you stand in neonatology, where do you stand in pediatric cardiology, where do you stand in pediatric neurology and thus this will encourage you 
to work upon your weaker portions so that your scores in the next test will definitely improve oh opportunities see a uh, mock test is a mix of high yield as well as low yield questions same stands with your final paper so take this opportunity of solving a grand test which is having low yield portions as well so that after you have completed the test you can read those low yield chapters which you might have had skipped during your regular reading t threads see the paper pattern might change next time the quality of questions might become purely clinical or might revert back to the single liner as it was previously if you are giving grand test sincerely and religiously come what pattern it might be in the next ss you would be able to get a very good rank if you are giving grand test because grand test are a mix of clinical questions as well as one liners and thus it is preparing you for the final frontier so this was a very brief and to the point discussion of how you can improve your grand test scores and thus achieve your desired branch in the ss exams uh, before i sign off i would like to thank the prep ladder team for starting this wonderful initiative of solving aspirants queries by discussing it with previous year toppers because i was also at the same place where you are right now 3 months back i was also worried about my preparation strategy i was anxious whether my preparation is good enough or not and these kind of video discussions will definitely motivate you this will encourage you to work harder and thus it will help you in achieving your final desired branch whatever queries you have you can always inbox me or you can comment in the chat box below and i would take out time whenever possible and solve those queries so aspirants keep dreaming keep studying hard and next neat ss the desired branch is yours to achieve thank you